even our most modern ideas have roots in the past. Nothing is truly unique. We are all products of history. My name is Lorenzo de Medici, and I'm the Prince of History. My family, the Medici, have ruled Florence, Italy for centuries. When they talk about Renaissance men, I am the real deal. You see, I'm a real prince. My, uh, my daily life is uh, very lucky, man, more, than, more than because I'm a prince, because I'm a Medici. When I go somewhere and say I'm a Medici, they treat me very good. I have a degree in history, but what makes me special is the secret information that my family have passed down to me since the Renaissance. We hired Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and Botticelli. Ciao, Ciao Lorenzo. Lorenzo! Hey guys, you working hard or hardly working? Ma I don't get it! From art to science to food, architecture, everything that we have today we have to thank the Renaissance. Take, for example, the story of a little blue pill, Viagra. Viagra wasn't the first solution for man's growing problem. I don't have a growing problem. <laughs> My great, 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 great aunt, Queen Caterina de' Medici, had a secret cure. Lorenzo, you're so skinny. Try some tiramisu. Thank you very much. Let me ask you first. Go ahead. Do you really create a tiramisu for that little problem? It's uh, hard to say. This is a tiramisu. The tiramisu was created in the 1800 in Venice. Venice was the land of lovers, sex, the land of mask, and they needed something to turn them on again. Tiramisu was a solution, but which one was the secret ingredient? It was the coffee. Yes, the coffee was banned in Florence during the Renaissance time because it was coming from Middle East. It was perceived as a cocaine. In Venice, they didn't care. It's like Las Vegas. Whatever stays in Venice, stays in Venice. They call it tiramelo su, who in Italian means turn me on. The tiramisu was a Viagra of the Renaissance time. It's not very elegant what I'm doing. Mm. It's very good tiramisu. I am on a quest to discover what our ancestors got right or what they got wrong and how it affects us today. We're going to build a wall. It's not even a difficult thing to do. Good luck with that. I will introduce you to how brilliant idea started. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. This is one device. Are you getting it? Breakthrough phenomena that constantly take us forward. My family was most famous for banking. In fact, we have invented the check. Promessa di pagamento. Promise of payment was a piece of paper that was able to change the whole world. People always ask me, what's happened during the Renaissance time when a check bounces? And the answer is, uh, there were other methods to collect. I promise you that you will pay. So let me take you where you have never been. Come with me on a trip through time to see where we are heading next. My name is Prince Lorenzo de' Medici and I am the Prince of History. I do three things very yeah. good in my life. One is driving, the other one is cooking, and the third one is uh, an Italian talent.